Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Guides video. My name is Humphrey. We're going to be changing some permissions inside of Linux. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way, which is via command line. And so some of you have said that uh, you can't figure out how to, how to change the permissions uh, using the graphical user interface. Here we're looking at Linux Mint 14 KDE edition. And let me just open up my file manager here. And so we've got Dynamips, and if I right click on Dynamips, I can go to Properties, and I should be able to set the permissions here. Yeah, I can set the permissions to whatever I want. And I also have a button right here called Is Executable. Now, if I want to do it the old fashioned way, what I could do is a couple ways. I believe KDE lets me right click, go to Root Actions, and then open a terminal right there. So it's going to open a terminal right in this location, the home router gods location. So Let's see if that works. I've actually never done that before. And it looks like we are in the right place. Okay, so we are in the right place. As you can see, the router god's username is in red, which means we are in root. That means that we don't need to do a SU root or become a super user because we are the super user right now. I've got the Dynamips file right there, and you can see the permissions right now. So pretty good permissions, I'm going to change them. And the way to that, do that is the command called chmod, C-H-M-O-D. And we're going to do something dangerous here, 777. And then the name of the file, Dynamips. All you have to do is type in the first couple letters and hit tab, and it's going to complete it for you. And if I hit enter and then do ls-l, you should see that these permissions have been changed. And definitely looks like it. It's all read, write, and execute all across the board. Read, write, execute. So before it was just read, write, read, write, and read. Of course, I could change them back if I do a chmod. Let's try a 333. Dime mips. And then do a ls-l. You could see I've got write and execute, write and execute, which really wouldn't make too much sense at all. But, you know, just to show that you can change the... The permissions. So if you're going to be using this for GNS3, you're going to be changing Dynamips to all sevens. So chmod 777, Dynamips, enter, and you are done. Okay, that was probably the fastest router guides video I've ever done. Two and a half minutes. See you later.